just gets tripped up in the end. Bradley across the cover. Maguire looking to get the better of him. Look at Maguire! My word, what a goal! My word, this boy's a star! That is a glorious goal! Well, I'm looking at this and I'm saying to myself, okay, Michael Bradley pinches here, he doesn't get it, but that's okay. He's going to be able to catch up to him and really make it difficult for Duncan McGuire, but Duncan McGuire, my word. Pick that out. Sensational strike. I mean, just the ability to now hit that on a real full run. You're basically in full stride, Duncan McGuire is in that stage there. You don't expect him to try and attempt to hit that out of the air. Three one down. Cartagena, he's got time and space, so he hits it and he scores! That is fantastic! His coach calls him a game changer. And that is a goal that can change everything in the playoffs. Reason why Oscar Perea and his side have clicked from the summer months until now. But they've clicked because of his defensive work. You don't expect this. As he steps onto it, Nashville, they step off. They're not worried about him. But Cartagena steps onto it and he catches all of this. Gets all the power, gets the whip right into the top bin. There is nothing Joe Willis can do about it. Kisses the underside of the crossbar. Tejeda, he manages to sweep it on. It's Rafael Santos. Oh, he played it short for Angulo. That's a nice ball. Crossed in. And then Torres hits it and scores. A wonderful second for Orlando. There is something wonderful happening in the city beautiful right now. There is belief coursing right through the veins of this Orlando City side. And there's space that they're finding. Just the patience, the touches on the ball, and the movement off of it. As Angulo just hangs one up. It requires Torres to go back on his run. But it's on his favorite left foot, so he can adjust. And that just shows you there the inform. Feeling from Torres right now. Janta no longer on the pitch as well. He's a threat. Ojeda. Oh. Oh, it's in! Ojeda! From a different zip coach! It wasn't his intention, but it does not matter! As parity is restored! Why you gotta get in swingers on these sort of balls? They used to tell us aim for that back post so that if it misses everybody, it just flies in the back of the net. And I don't know if that was Ojeda's intention, but it comes off that far post in the end. Kalina's watching it, can't react in time. Can someone head that out on the Charlotte FC perspective? I wonder. Araujo with a good ball and an even better one by Cartagena. This is Angulo walking in for Orlando. Carlos Coronel, two terrific passes. It is Angulo with his third goal of the season. And the Lions are roaring early at Red Bull Arena. It's 1-0. He can't get back. So that means that Nealis, he gets caught in between two minds, doesn't do anything. That leaves the space then for Angulo, who swap wings. And he's just so cool, calm and collected, the way that he gets away from Dylan Nealis. But this all starts because Red Bulls are on the front foot. Tolkien's gone forward. The space is then there. That's when Angulo picks the ball and you can see he gets on the wrong side of Sean Nealis because Sean Nealis has been dragged out and it's just so calm from Angulo. Not the way that he just sidestepped Dylan Nealis, but also the finish. He has the presence of mind to see Coronel going down and he says, thank you very much, I'll just put it over you. And that is when Orlando are at their best when they can counter-attack and that's why they've got one of the best away records in the whole of MLS.